and welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Today's a new contest. Time for the handicraft contest. Yep, handicraft contest. So yeah, I'm ready. I just need to quickly take off my shirt. And I'm gonna turn this in. So yeah, this is a... What rarity is this again? I forget what you need in the first year to win, but I'm pretty sure we have it. Oops. If I could find it real quick. There it is. So yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh right, we don't get C rarity on actual equipment. But yeah, trust me, this thing is good. Alright, well we have a little bit of time to kill before the festival starts. First things first, let's take care of the crops. But yeah, last time we got ourselves a new field. Unfortunately, like I said before, we're not going to really be using it at the moment. Not until I can get like some good monsters over there to work it for me. Because, oops. I don't want to work three fields on my own. Then again, I'm not really even working one field on my own at the moment, but still. Why work hard when you can have monsters do it for you? Alright, anyways, uh, let's see, what else is around here? I'm pretty sure monsters are already working every single field, so I don't have to worry about it. They might be getting tired soon, though. Also, how are you doing, Dungeon Flower? I kind of pounded on you for, like, four hours straight. Eh, you're fine. Surprisingly fine, actually. Let's see, onions are still growing, carrots are still growing. Surprisingly slowly, actually. How are you doing, anyways? They're fine. Okay, monsters are taking care of everything over here. Oops. Take that. Wait, wait, wait. No, never mind. I thought the uh, iron leaf was done. No, that was just my imagination. Oh, actually, they're getting tired over here. Okay. I think after today's done, I'll have them take a break. Oh god, the lag. Yeah, the confetti and the monsters doing stuff. Kind of makes the game freak out a bit. That's fine. Okay. We'll deal. Alright, let's get everything shipped off because I don't really have any much more money at the moment. Turns out buying yourself a new piece of real estate, kind of expensive. Also, why do I have a level 10 turnip? Oh, I remember. Those are dropped by the turnip ghosts. Okay. Never mind. That makes sense. Alright, so yeah, festival starts at 11 like always, still have a little bit of time. Uh, sure, what are the rules? Yep, favorite weapon or accessory. I don't think it- no, yeah, this counts as an accessory, I think. But yep. Submit to you at 11. Who's the favorite to win right now? Is it Doug? It might be Doug. Actually, it's probably Baldo. Oh, no, it's... Leon? Really? Okay. I don't see it, but sure, why not? Well, I see our competition is, uh, good. Well, I guess, yeah, she would be good at making accessories. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Have you seen what happens in Ellie's cases? She punched me in the face once. Also, I don't think we've ever seen that sprite before. I don't think we've ever seen her knitting before, huh? Interesting. Baldo, you're, this is your job. If you screw up today, just close your shop. You kind of have to be good at this. Hey, Dylas, what you doing? Also, yeah, he totally likes us. Every time we come near him now, he has a heart over his head. Anyways, while we're here, I don't have any milk porridge for you. One second. Money. Good morning. But yeah, you know what? I have a good feeling about today. I think, A, we're going to win the contest. And B, I think Dylas is finally going to accept us, or accept our love for him. Or maybe he'll reject us like he has for the last month, but... Hope springs eternal. Uh, where'd he go? Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. 
Also, who was that crying? Oops. Alright, Dylas. Happy Handicraft Festival contest. Whatever. Anyways, so now that you've had your morning morning porridge. Nope. Okay, there is always tomorrow. What are we at with him at this point? We're almost at nine already, Dionys. Come on. All right. Maybe tomorrow then. All right. What to do for the rest of the uh, two hours until the contest starts? Well, two and a half. Welcome. Anything good here? Nope. Actually, the wet scales wouldn't be bad, but no, we can get those pretty easily. Never mind. Okay, in that case, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a quick trip to Rune Prana. We have a little bit of time to kill, and I just wanna do a little bit of uh, exploration. Also, still wrong war point. I'm gonna explore a little bit of the hidden areas around Rune Prana 3 that we missed before. Also, yeah, we're about halfway through Rune Prana. Kind of. We're in area 4, right? 1, 2, th yeah, we're in area 4, so yeah, almost halfway. But yeah, let's go explore some of the hidden areas around here. That's not the right way. Oh, also while I'm here, there is something else I should probably be doing. I should be getting myself a bunch of Orichalcum. And iron. Lots and lots of iron. But yeah, let's go take a look around. This is also where we can, I think, get the uh, pirate stuff. And by pirate stuff, I mean the materials from pirates. I'm pretty sure they spawned this area. Also, it would help if I put my armor back on. That would have been a very unpleasant surprise if I accidentally got hit without armor and just immediately died. Oh yeah, here are the high old uh, Vikings. I think there was something we wanted to make that involved their drops. I'll have to double check when I get back. Alright, what else is around here? Nothing that way. Although it looks like there should be something that way. Oh, I think I have to actually destroy all the enemies in the area before it'll open up. Or I might be completely wrong, who knows. I didn't really thoroughly explore this area the first time I played. Mostly because I just kind of wanted to get through Rune Prana as quickly as possible. Nope. I was wrong. There's wine here, though. Okay, yeah, I can't go that way. I could have sworn there was another hidden area around here. Or I might be completely wrong. Oh, yeah, here it is. I went the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, glue. Okay, yeah. I'll worry about game drops later. But basically, just hug all the walls and hope you can be, uh, break on through. There we go. More high orc vikings. Wow, these guys are everywhere. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. There's probably a hidden chest over here, isn't there? I have to just get rid of all the monsters. I'm fine. Just a little, uh... Blunt for it's not blunt force trauma, it's chopping ba uh, damage. There we go. Still no dr uh, Viking drops or pirate drops. Oh, you're not dead. Nope, nothing. Oh, wait, never mind. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Pirate's armor. Because I'm pretty sure one of the things we wanted to craft involved that. I'll have to double check when I get back. Okay, yeah, that's just the way back now. Okay. So, that's Rune Piranha 3. I keep saying, thinking I was saying uh, Rune Piranha. Alright, now it's time. Let's do this. Oops. Right, I actually have to give you the thing I wanted to put in. Alright. Here you go. I made a nice elvish cloak. Nice, nice elvish cloak. But yes, this is my entry. I wonder what would happen if you tried to give them something that you didn't actually make. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't actually work. But yep, let's see. Yes, it is handcrafted. I made myself. It's level 10. Yep, everything is level... Well, not everything is level 10, but most of the items that went into it were level 10. Alright, let's see. Third place was... 
Jones with 139 points. Uh, second place, be please beat Leon. Please beat Leon. Leon, awesome, we won. Wow, that was a really small gap between the two of you. And we win with a, uh, oh my God. Okay, I expected it to, usually it scales up to what score you had. I won by getting over 10 times, well not over, but 10 times as many points as Leon. Well, we won. Yeah, I don't think they expected me to be at this point in the game for uh, the very first year. Very good. Wow. Yeah, I Great. didn't expect the point gap to be that massive. Well, we won. Also, can you give me back my cloak? I kind of need it. Thank you. Let's uh, put that back on so I don't forget. Okay. Anyways, what did we win? Uh, Fist of the Dark. These aren't very good, I don't think, compared to what we have on at the moment. Even at base, they're not that great. Yeah, they're not the best. Okay, what else do we have? Weapon bread? Oh my god, that's a lot of weapon bread. I can make a great axe. I can make a luck blade. Ooh, luck blade would be good for like grinding materials, actually. Rune staff? I should make myself a good staff. New gloves? I want to see if I can make those real quick. Uh, veggie blade. Ice hammer. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, protein for me. And some uh, sashimi. We could eat it right now, but I don't want to eat it at the moment. Did he just say we looked nice? Douglas, are you okay? But yep, he's all about the fishing. But yep, even though he's a dwarf, Doug isn't the best at forging. But yeah, I guess Leon's just really good at making accessories. Man, I still can't believe we won by that many points. Alright, but I want to check out those new gloves we can make. I hope I have the materials for them. Uh, they are gloves. Nope. Yeah, we're not going to be getting any of these materials for a while. Okay, these two are boss materials from Rune Prana, so nope. And this isn't until Rune Prana... Six, I want to say. We need dangerous scissors for a lot of things, surprisingly. Is there anything else we can make? Ooh. Those would be awesome. Oh, I need to grow more iron leaves. Okay, I'm going to go plant more iron leaves real quick. Oh, actually, no. I think I can just straight up buy iron leaves after I sell one. I'm going to plant two just in case anyways, but still. That... Will actually be really nice if I can make this. All I need is a Crimson Scale. We've already met the Red Dragons, I think. So I think they dropped the Crimson Scales. This one we can get from bosses over at the Floating Continent. Well, Floating Empire. Same thing. And then these we can grow. Ooh, actually, yeah. We can make ourselves some really good gloves with these. Also, I like how they're just iron leaves stuck on the ends of gloves. Also, animal puppets. Okay, I have a new plan. Oh my god, that's such a massive attack boost, but the materials are just hard to get. If we can get these uh, lion furs, we'll make these. The dangerous scissors we can just grind for later, but the fur is going to be the annoying part. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Also, I'm going to go buy myself some more accessory bread. My armor is good, but I think it's about time we start upgrading like our shoes and our hat. Also, I still need to make myself that good shirt, too. Anyways, I want some recipe bread. Give me all of your accessory bread. Not some of it. All of it. Actually, I think these are made to order. Yeah, they're pretty much made to order because you only sell so much of them. He is very good at baking. Alright, that's enough. Because that's all we can buy. Let's see if we can learn anything new. We learned how to make a platinum ring. I don't care about rings. Ice skates. Those could be fun. Uh, Rune Vast. Ooh. 
Oh, no, I think the materials for that are actually hard to get. We'll see. Uh, talisman. Oh, actually, a talisman might be interesting. Water shoes. We can use those to walk on water. Lucky strike. No new armor pieces. Diamond brooch. Magical shield. Oh, shields. Man, that is the one downside about using gloves. We can't make a really good shield. A really good shield would actually help out a lot, simply due to the fact that, uh, it's extra defense. Alright, let me see something real quick. Shoes. Ice skates. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these will make it so that you're always moving like you're on ice, so... Not gonna bother with those. Also, this is from a really late game Rune Prana boss. Water shoes could be... Uh... They're not as good as our current... Actually, what are we wearing right now? We're wearing feather boots, right? 140. Oh my god. That is a big boost. Oh my god. Once again, dangerous scissors. Okay, once we can get these, I'm just gonna make myself an entirely new set of equipment. These actually don't have any defense on them, now that I look at them. Never mind. Oh, but yeah, once we can get ourselves... Actually, we could get ourselves some, some of this stuff pretty easily. We'll see. That is a pretty massive increase in defense, too. Maybe I'll try grinding off screens for, for uh, some of these materials. But yeah, oh my god. Pretty much everything I want to make involves dangerous scissors. Are they really that dangerous? Yes, yes they are. But that's not the point right now. Uh, no new armor. I need to double check where I can get these, actually. Because I'm pretty sure we can actually get all of these uh, scales at the moment. I might make myself a dragon cloak if I can. We'll see. And then this is probably what... Yep, this is the one that also needs dangerous scissors. I'm going to be beating up so many scorpions later. And the rune vest. Yeah, we're not getting this anytime soon. Okay. And uh, let's check one more thing. Headgear. Is there anything better than what I have on at the moment? Yes. Yes, there are. Ooh, a gold hairpin would be... I need a turn up miracle. Actually, those are even enough to grind. Maybe I'll try making this at some point. I'm also surprisingly out of gold. Interesting. Okay. Actually, wait. Blue scales. Oh, I don't know if I can get blue scales yet. Alright, but I'll try and make myself some new equipment before I head into Rune Prana 4. Right now, the kind of, like, system is every time I reach a new level of Rune Prana, I just make myself new equipment. That's kind of how it works. Because I can't make anything uh, super overpowered at the moment. Alright. But I do want to grab myself some... Right, no one's here. One second, where's Amber? Or Illuminata. Either one of them will work. Uh, there you are. Listen, it might be tea time. Sure, whatever. Anyways, you want to come with me real quick? Come on, let's go on a quick trip. I know it's tea time. Is that a watering can? Yeah, that's right. You both, you and Amber are both equipped with a watering can as your default weapon. Anyways, uh, let's split up real quick. Wait, before you go. I wish to buy. I wish to purchase two iron leaf uh, seeds, please. There we go. Alright, let's head back. So yeah, I can turn these into uh, really good gloves, apparently. I completely forgot the iron leaf glove existed. We still haven't even grown a single iron leaf, have we? Alright, so let's uh, get these killed. Actually, yeah, let's just throw them right here, actually, because I just remembered something. The growth rate on this song is absurd. 3.5 times normal speed. Yeah, we're planting them here. Get in the soil. There we go. Alright, yeah, I think it's about time we call it a day. We didn't do a huge amount of stuff today. Actually, no, that's a lie. We did a bunch of stuff today, but there's nothing else I really want to do at the moment. You're not taking this. Do you have any idea of the materials that went into this stupid cloak? Don't touch me, Illuminata. I'm wearing it. If you touch me, I will punch you. Wait. Okay, now I'll punch you. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Okay, so. First things first. 
let's do what we always do. Um, let's make ourselves some milk. Po I'm out of milk. I can fix this. I've got to get milk yesterday. Darn it. Also, those pumpkins died. Yeah, I expect that to happen for a while now. That's fine. Uh, let's take care of all the cr Oh, wait. Also, before I forget, you can have the day off today. Spidey, you're up. Alright, I'll come back and brush and grab all the materials later. And then I think someone in here was tired. Oh yeah, Green, you're tired. You can take a break, uh, Buzzy, you're up. And I think Mama is tired too. No, no, yeah, no, she's tired. She's just so tall that I couldn't see the bubble above her head. So you take a break and you get to work. Alright, like I said, I'll take care of everything else off screen. Uh, what else is ready to harvest? Pumpkins! Pumpkins are ready. Anything over here? Yeah, more pump- oh my god. I did not realize just how many pumpkins I planted. I might have gone a bit overboard with the pumpkins. You can never go overboard with pumpkins, that's not true. You can definitely go overboard with pumpkins. Yeah, maybe we should stop buying pumpkin seeds. Eventually these things will die off. Yeah, the very first farm I ever made in this game had a problem with strawberries, because I planted so many strawberry seeds that they just wouldn't die. And now it's pumpkins, because I was trying to avoid strawberry seeds. I'm good at avoiding things. Alright, let's just get these pumpkins sold off. Alright. And yeah, like I said before, we're not going to be selling anything we find in Rune Prana, simply due to the fact that uh, Raven won't stock them until after we beat it. So I'm just going to keep everything. It's mine. No one else can touch it. Except maybe Dialus if he wants to. Speaking of Dialus, let's go find Dialus. Where is he right now? He is over at the... He should be at the inn right now, actually. He's probably still asleep. Actually, no, it's already 7.30. He'll be up. Anything good for sale? Nope. Wait. Nope. Wakey, wake. Oh, you're already awake. Man, he is totally hitting on me now. Oh. We'll have to make sure we give him something nice. Maybe a nice home-cooked meal. Anyways, Dionys, guess what I have? The same thing I have. I forgot to cook. One second. Oops. Okay. Now that we have the, our porridge, let's go find him again. I have a good feeling about this. I think today is going to be the day. He's going to try to go to... No, he's going to go take a bath, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay, we have to make sure we accidentally... We actually give it to him and not give it to someone else. Alright, Diana, stand still so I don't accidentally miss. There you go. Alright, but I have a good feeling about today. So, Dylas, how do you feel about my love? What? Oh my god. Seriously, buddy? Okay, fine. Tomorrow we're gonna hit, hit level 9 with you. You would better accept me by then. We managed to get through the entire, like, level 8 range without getting a single love confession put going through. And by single I mean a love confession, because you only have one. What? Yeah, we'll try again tomorrow, I guess. Alright. I guess that's a good place to end the episode then. So, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4, where is he going? Oh, he's just gonna fish in the river. Okay. Next time, I'm gonna see if I can make any good equipment, and then back to Rune Prana we go. Maybe we'll beat, uh, part four. Maybe not. I'll probably just burn to death, because there's a lot of fire in that area, and I tend to not take fire very well. So, till then.